guys, it's Just Cards by Sarah and welcome to the Valentine's Day YouTube hop that I am doing. Um, the host is Mama Tiffy and there is an amazing um, array of different craft, talented crafters that are going to be doing the hop and each of us will be doing a Valentine's Day project. So they will either be a handmade card or they could be doing just a project but basically anything to do with Valentine's Day um, so for my tutorial I am doing a arrow so it's going to look like this right here so I will take you through the whole process so you'll get to see how I put it together and everything um, for the hop but what you've got to do is be sure to um, be go to all the channels. Um, so there'll be a list and the rules underneath this video. And you'll get all the people that are in the hop, all the crafters. Then what you've got to do is make sure you go to all the channels and subscribe and comment. Um, and there may or may not be a hidden giveaway. So be sure to comment and sub to all the channels. And um, have fun! And hopefully you'll be inspired by all of us talented crafters on the whole. And I wanted to thank Mama Tiffy and all the other crafters for having me. And basically um, the tutorial will be after this. So stay tuned and I will talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, it's Just Cards by Sarah. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial how to make these arrows. I was inspired by Stacey Young and Scrap Lady. Um, Stacey Young had done these a long time ago and she's a huge inspiration to me. And she does them a lot different and so does Stacey. Uh, so does um, Scrap Lady. Um, but basically, I um, Scrap Lady uses the Love Heart where that's the idea I got from her and uh, Stacy uses arrows uh, triangles and up the top they both use like a fringing um, and like you can use buttons or whatever you want but I went with dies and um, Stacy also uses like three real feathers but anyway I'll get into it um, okay so the paper that I've used is I'm doing a, a flip book and this is going to be one of the embellishments going in it but because I thought that's something they can't buy because it's handmade and I know um, I think it's Pink Paisley has some arrows which are teeny tiny um, and I think I believe Stacey's designed to, for them so I don't know if that's where they got the idea from but anyway um, so the paper is Kai's Craft Kaleidoscope and um, like I said I'm using this for the flip book okay what dies I'm using is Joy Crafts. I'm have to zoom out for a sec. Joy Crafts feathers die, and you get the two. And I use both. And there's the die you get. I was actually a bit disappointed with all my feather dies. I kind of expected them to be a bit more wispy they weren't but anyway it doesn't matter um i also used from crafty and this was in my dt package a long time ago uh the feather set Oops. the i the bags broke so i put them together but as you can see there's a feather in there but i didn't use that so you get the ink well and the one. But the one i used was this one so you get the four so i just run it through all one go um what else oh and my nesting die I've used, I've had this one since I first started four years ago, I think it is now. Um, but it's by Impress, hopefully you can see that. And it comes with a couple different um, sizes. And it is Heart Frame MP1039. And the one I used was obviously this size, the smallest. I would like to invest in a punch one day. I haven't yet. Um, but all my punches are too teeny tiny. Okay. I also used some glitter cardstock from Kaiser Craft. And it's weird glitter cardstock, but it's the only one I could find. Um, it's like missing. 
Can you see it? It's kind of missing glitter in some spots and stuff. It came in, it was in that all that glitters paper collection. I've also used some twine just for my stash. I have also used bamboo skewers and you can just get these at supermarket and you get a hundred so you can make a hundred arrows. And what I did with mine, I actually halved it so you can get even more out of it. Um, I've, I bought some gold thread the last time I was at Spotlight. So I've got that that we can use. What else did I use? I've got out a ton of things. Hang on, I'm just going to move the camera and I'm going to cover it. But as you can see, I've got out some feathers and some twine because you can use all these and some thread. Um, and I also got some enamel dots because you could put dots and just these sort of things. So hang on, I'll just cover it up. Oh, I sit. Okay. So now I'm going to get cracking. Um, my stick is a no, 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 here, right here. Okay. And basically, I've already picked. Oh, and I'm using this punch by Fishkers. And I'm not too sure what size it is. Um, so I'm just going to punch two of the glitter. Hang on. I'm not going to do it on frame because it's kind of awkward as it is. Okay. I'm going to pop them out. Okay. So you can see what you need. And I did distress mine, um, but you don't have to. Um, but this one I might do a glitter. So I've done this one. I don't know if that glitter is going to look any good. I'm sure it will. Oh, yeah. Um, with the gold, it was actually a paint swatch. Dulux Dusty Gold Metallic and I've already done ahead of time some feathers okay so what I'm gonna do is grab my feathers because it's a smaller feather I might just go with small ones and I might grab ooh, maybe a three or four is a good amount just grab that one there. oh no that's right really um, Sorry, I'm just trying to go for a different colour that's than what's already in the pile. You know, because you don't want the same. No. Alright, I won't worry. Just go with what I got. Because I think they're all too similar. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's alright. Okay. Alrighty. So first I halved... Oh, and you're also going to need a bag of feathers. Or, I'll show you how um, Stacy does hers first. So I'll just put these to the side. Okay, I'm going to cut this into a square. Just freehand. Okay. And the way Stacy cuts hers is... She kind of cuts hers in a pointed direction, like this. And like I said, I'm not doing it properly, as you can see. And you can do it as thick and as thin you want. And she does multiple sizes. So just imagine, I'm just going to tear it, I don't really care. And then she would fray it. And then layer two on top, and you can glitter it or whatever. As you can see, and there's your ready for your layer two on top in that shape. But it's much easier just to use a die from your stash if you've got it. If not, um, you could go online. I know there's templates. I could even send you some if you really, really wanted some. Um, okay. Let's get cracking. So I've got my stick. And the colours I'm going for is this... Well, this one was more blue tones. So this one's a greeny tone with gold, okay? I'll just get rid of these guys off my mat. So I've got some more room. Okay. I might use twine this time instead of the... 
torn uh, instead of the this stuff here torn yeah okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to now would be the time to distress if you're going to do it okay but we're not so what you would do is run your tape in side your heart as you can see okay. and then what you're going to do is put some actually I'll leave that for a sec oh actually I skipped a step I might just stick it to here for now it's not gonna hurt okay so it's nice and sturdy and I'm gonna do these first so I'll just take these you could tape them like I'm doing, or, got another solution, you could run it through those Xyron, little Xyrons. Okay. And the glue I'm using is Tiger Glue, because the Helmers has been sold out every time I've gone to the shops. And like I said, I only go every three months, so it kind of sucks when they don't have it. But anyway, I got this one and I've been using it. And someone had said it's really good online, but it's really runny and I don't like runny glue. So. Alright, so I'm just sticking this glitter bit in the middle. Trying to line it up, you know me, perfectionist. Okay, and the great thing about the this tape runner, which is from the reject shop, it's easy to reposition until you're happy. Okay. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it. So I just run my glue all in the middle and around the edges. Okay. And I would recommend if you're using your stick and you've got the point left, I would use the point for the, like, attach this to the point part. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run that there, and it's already got sticky on it, just to give it that extra something. And I'm going to evenly put the same side on here. Okay, and now what we're going to do is start sticking, so make sure it's in the middle. Okay, and I'm just going to push it. And the great thing is about the glue, I've got time to move it like I said it is a ton easier with the point okay for some reason it doesn't want to go in the middle alrighty and again like the helmets you can just rub it and it comes off this takes a bit longer to dry but okay sure it's all covered and then get all the glue off so nobody can see it when it's all said and done I'm just gonna put some glue closer to the edge yep and that's it and just smudge it all around okay all right that's done you want your stem in the middle. So I'll just hold it for a sec. And when you've got the point, it does push in really well. So I'll try to clean these up a bit. Sorry guys. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to get some twine and I'm just going to do the top so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my glue and I am going to run it along the stem your stem could be shorter or um, longer but the thing is there is a thing you want it to look proportionate with everything else obviously okay just get it all around the edge 
Okay. Don't go too far down. That probably cannot be too far. Okay. Grab a stick. Maybe put glue where I just rubbed it all. <laughs> okay. And I think I've cut too much, but anyway. Actually. Okay. This twine is great twine. And I bought it at a closing day. Um, sale and my mum actually went and checked out the store and I bought mum bought the whole roll I think it was like a couple dollars and she gave me the whole thing and it's lasted me ages and it's still going and I also got it in the brown and it's the thinnest twine I've ever seen on the planet compared to the bigger stuff but it um I don't creative impressions makes it that's cool and it would have been 20 cents. So, a meter I'm assuming. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue, hold that bit where is the end. And I'll go over it a couple times. Okay. Make sure that's covered. And then, making sure they're perfectly together, start twisting all the way to the top. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Alright. Just make sure it's alright. So you just keep twisting. Some of the glue's gone over, which is okay, I can fix. Okay, make sure it's perfect. Don't worry where it's white, that's just the glue that's squeezed through. Go all the way to the top. Okay. Alrighty. Keep going. Until you're at the top. Okay. Done. What I'm going to do now is grab my scissors and cut it as close to it as possible without disturbing the rest or cutting the rest. Okay, done. And put that up there. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure it's all kind of. And that glue will dry clear so you won't see it. Okay, hopefully, you can see that. Colouring is not the best on here for some reason today. Okay. Next I'm going to take my feathers, which are paper. And we want to grab one reel. So in my bag, it was just a chill bag from the op shop. Ah, uh, from the op shop, from a chill shop. Okay, so. I'm back. So basically what we, um, I left it to dry. And as you can see, the twine has wrapped around really well. And it's really sturdy. It's on there now. And you can see the bottom that we've already done. Like I said, this doesn't take a really long time to do. And you could do like a production line if you wanted to, I guess. Um, okay, so what I've done here is I've picked out a feather. Um, I went for the brown and what I've, and I've already glued a feather on. So now I'm just going to start laying my feathers on. I might actually put this one first because it doesn't, I cut the bum off already. Oh. And I curl up the stems 
I've always done the uh, stems. I've curled up the edges and and I go like this in half because I don't want it to be flat. See, so you just sort of bend all the bits. Okay, so you're bending all those bits on. And then in the middle, just bend it in half. I did do it before I put it on, but when I probably pushed it down. Okay. Fix those feathers up a bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is put my rest of my, start putting the rest of my layers on. Blue doesn't want to come out, or maybe it's closed. Hang on. And while I'm at it, don't, um, if you send me an email, um, private email, I'm not meaning under my videos, um, because I comment to all my people, unless I can't, um, because their account's not set up, um, but other than that, oops, put it back to front, um, I can do it, I can write back, um, but don't send me a private message, because I don't seem to get them for some reason. I know you can go in and um, check them, but I just don't get them and it doesn't work on my computer properly and stuff. I don't want people to think I'm being rude. If you want to contact me, let me know below my video or go to my YouTube, uh, my Facebook page. All the links are below. I have a Just Cards by Sarah Facebook page and I have my private one. Um, which everyone friended anyway. Um, so, and I put my work on both, so it really doesn't matter. So my personal ones pretty much become. <laughs> so I got the two accounts. Okay, just putting them at different levels. Okay, so you put one higher up, like that. Can you see that? bit hard to see with glare. I might turn that off and see if that's better. How's that? Much better. And then you will hang on that's two over. I can put it there. Doesn't want to glue does it? <laughs> Problem is I'm looking through my camera to do my project and sometimes this is a bit hard because the camera is really little. So I have to stand up. Okay, so you're just staggering them a bit. Different levels. Levels, levels. I love that song. I'm not like a Jonas fan or Nick Jonas or whatever, but I don't mind that song. And, funny, Justin Bieber. Didn't like Justin Bieber, but I like his new CD. I don't know if it's, I don't like his music. I don't like him and the things he does. I think that's why. Okay, oops, so I'm just clearing that up because as you can see there's a bulk and stuff. Alright, so we're at this level, <laughs> um, and you've got this, and like I said you can make your stem shorter, longer, whatever. Okay, so we're going to put that probably about there in a minute, so I'm just going to leave it to set. What you could do is an extra bonus like I did. Um, you could like use the gold thread and like do like a round thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you can see it. Mine's just poking there. But you could do it like a loop around the um, resin piece. But I don't really think it needs it. To be honest, I just did it because the person I'm swapping with likes gold. Um, so I just went for gold. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap it around my finger really loosely. And unraveling it loosely. <laughs> okay. Where is the end? Why do I keep doing it tight? Then I'll never be able to get it back off my finger. I'm doomed today, I think. Okay, so we just want to roll it around. 
Or maybe not. <laughs> this worked the last time. Why is it not working now I'm on camera? It's always the way. And then pop it off. And you could do it how I had done it and like knot it in the middle. Um, like I had knotted it like there, so it kind of bunched up a bit. But I'm just going to knot it and I'll be back. <laughs> I kind of gave up in the end and did this because it just was not happening. And I've kind of got chubby fingers, so it just wasn't happening. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut that end off because we don't need it. Bye bye. Okay. Okay, so then you got your little loop. So that will hide underneath whatever you put there on top. Alright. I got out a heart. It was a studio calico. It came with arrows and hearts, I think. It was studio. Um. Yeah. Sorry, hang on. Just. Um. Studio calico. What did I write? 79 piece wood. So you get little arrows and stuff. I've been stocking up. Can you see? I got these off eBay. I think they were like two bucks. Can you see them all? Two dollars. And free posts. You should see my metal. My mum orders it by hundreds. So like, I've got a ton of metal. I'll show you that one day. And these are just from the reject shop. Um, they were three dollars or something for twelve words. Which was a bargain, I thought. Because wood veneer is really hard to find. A lot of this I got on eBay. Um, and this is from Spotlight. This is from Spotlight. And they don't seem to have them anymore, those fundamental ones. I've been hunting high and low for them. Cannot find them. I just wanted a couple different packets. But it's beyond me. And I was looking for stars before Christmas and couldn't find them. Anyway, back on track. So they're the hearts. And these are the ones off eBay. $2. Can you see that? And they're good quality, like hearts, and you get like all different sizes. There's a teeny size. Um, hang on, I'll just wet my finger. Teeny tiny size. So you can see, like, there's a medium. Okay. Oh, now that one's gone into my crease in my hand. Hang on. And then you've got like a number size one. So you've got a couple of different sizes. Okay. I'll put you back before I make you sick. Um, and get back to what we're doing. Anyway, um, you could like put a button on. You could put... I might zoom in. Let's see if that's a bit better for you guys. For some reason when I zoom in it goes blurry. Have you guys found that? Look. Come on, focus. You can do it. Okay. Um, alright. So what I'm going to do now is, like, you could put a resin on. See, I've got some resin things. I preferably would put tiny ones on. Um, but you could put a big one, I guess, if you really wanted to. Like. And you could do, like, a Huge one. If you really wanted to, like a huge arrow, meaning, you know, you could put like a. No, I think that one's a bit too big. But you could put like. That's cute. Yeah. Hmm. That's probably better. But you could like do that, and that's your thing, you know. So. Or you could put a real flower. So we've got a couple choices. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get cracking, and of course my light is saying my battery is getting exhausted. It actually comes up, your battery is tired. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put that there. Okay, and that's just for a bit of decoration behind the, um, actually bring it down. It's just a bit of decoration behind the lover. If that makes sense. Okay. 
And then I'm just going to glue this onto here so you go strong. And this glue sets clear so it really doesn't matter. I might put it that way. Yeah. Why did it just go all that side? It always way. Alright. So there's that one. And then I'm just going to put my heart. I'm just going to put that above here on top of the so you want it like on top problem is it's not going to glue in time to pick it up to show you guys but I will pan the camera there So you'd put that down, try to flatten that as much as possible. You know what I might do? Cut the green off after all that. Because what's happening is it's too fat. <laughs> after all that. Let's cut that end off. For my battery dies. Come on mate. Alright, I'll just straighten him. That might be a bit better. Alright, now, second time lucky. Doesn't help that I've kind of got the shakes too. Okay, I'll get rid of that bit. Alright, and same thing. Heart. Love heart for love. And these are great for Valentine's Day, I think. I just think it's something nice you can send people in your flip book too. And they can use it. Or not use it. Okay, I think that's it. So there's my. Hopefully you can see how I put them together. Oh no, one. <laughs> no one. There's that one. So you've got the heart, and down the bottom is the gold. And again, that was a paint swatch that I die cutted. And then this one's got the resin, so you've got the wood veneer and the resin. Hopefully you guys like that. And I'll leave a link below to my social media pages. I've got Periscope and everything down there. I've got Instagram, I've even got Twitter. So, Alright, I'll just pan up for you and I'll also have a picture afterwards for you guys. And I think that's it. Alright, I'll see you later.